Hello everyone. After having just finished Three Fourths Home, I wanted to come back and do a review on it. My overall impression of this game is that it's really good, and I hope I can do a good job explaining why I think so. So this is made by Bracket Games, and it's a short game, and it takes place entirely over a single phone conversation that you have while driving. You play as Kelly, who has just moved back in with her parents, and she's driving home as a storm starts to roll in, and she's talking with her family on the phone while doing so. There's two ways you can interact with this game. You can drive, and you can talk. So here's how the driving works. If you're using a keyboard and mouse at least, your left hand will be driving. And the only thing you actually have to do to drive is just hold down a single key. You just have to hold down the accelerator pedal, basically. And if you release it, this happens. It slows down and you pretty much stop. So that's the only thing you actually have to do, is just press that button. But there's a bunch of other optional stuff you can mess with as well. You can turn on and off the lights. You can honk the horn. I can play, or put in like a tape in the tape deck, and you can also turn on and off, on and off the wipers. So there's a bunch of stuff you can fiddle with, but the only thing you actually have to do is just press the drive button, basically. And I think this is really cool. It's not advanced sort of, uh, it's not an advanced sort of a system, obviously, you don't have to steer your car or anything of the sort. There's no challenge or obstacles of any kind, but it turns what could have been a very passive experience of just watching a car go and imagining that you're driving it, and it turns it into an actual active thing, because you have to actually hold down a key, you have to actually drive. It's driving in the most simplest form, but it is driving. You're holding down a key, and it's, a, it's an active action, it's not passive. Which is pretty damn cool. And the other thing you do is talking. So this game has a branching dialogue, and that branching dialogue has a pretty big effect on what happens, which I'll get to a little bit later. So the writing is probably my favorite part of this game. In fact, it's definitely my favorite part of this game. Three Force Home is about Kelly and her family and her relationship with her family. So Kelly's gone through college, but her life isn't turning out the way she thought it would. And her family is dealing with disabilities and financial issues and, and a whole lot of stuff that they're dealing with. And while you're talking with your family during this car ride, all of these issues and, and fears and worries start to come out. And the dialogue choices that you make actually define what your relationship with your family is. So for example, uh, there's a point where Kelly mentions that her dad fixed something that was broken with her car. And then you get to choose whether he did so reluctantly, or if he insisted on fixing it. So you get to actually decide if you want your relationship with your dad to be one where he's kind of protective of you and helping you and really kind of proactive, or is he more kind of neglectful and passive? You know, what's your relationship with him? And the same thing goes for all the other characters as well. A more minor example, by the way, is that uh, at one point your dad actually calls you baby girl, which is kind of weird, and um, you can choose to accept that term, you know, just keep roll with it, or you can reject it as being kind of a weird thing to call someone who's, well, an adult. So some of them are minor, but some of them are very big decisions, and they really do influence what your relationship, or they actually don't influence, they just completely define what your relationship with your family is. Which is very cool. And the quality of the writing itself is just very good. The dialogue just feels natural and real, and it's just well written. And the art as well is also pretty damn great. So things will actually pop up in the background that are triggered by the conversations that you're having as you drive. For example, your mom might ask you where you are, and you say to her that I'm driving past so-and-so building. And then that building pops up in the background as you drive past it. And also as you drive on, the uh, storm that's pelting me right now becomes even more severe. It starts to get worse and worse. And that really reflects how the conversation with your family goes, too. Because just as the storm is getting more chaotic and crazy, so is your conversation. Because I mentioned that you and your family, you're dealing with a lot of issues. And a lot of things just end up bubbling to the surface as you're talking with them. And so the chaos outside, in the weather, 
really reflects what's happening kind of in your own life. And uh, the constant movement of the car itself, too, just always moving forwards into a storm. That itself kind of just feels like a, a metaphor for life, basically. Overall, it's just an exceptionally well-written game, with some good art that also accentuates the writing. It just really resonated with me. It's such a beautiful, wonderful thing that this exists. It really goes to show that you don't need action or crazy visuals or anything like that to have an engaging story. You really don't. I mean, this is enough. You just need you just need human relatable characters. Just very human relatable characters that are well written. And that alone is enough to make a very, very engaging story. I was just glued to the screen. I kind of forgot about the fact that I was even driving a car with my left hand because I was just so just so into the dialogue and the choices that I was making. I just got completely immersed in it. And the sound design is also wonderful. The sound of the rain pounding against your car and the thunder in the distance. Really just, you know, puts me in this, this makes me feel there. In the story and in that place. Yeah, it's just a really good game. So, you can grab three-fourths home from the official website. It's sold through the Humble Store on there, and you can also grab it from itch.io. I'll have links to all of that in the description. Thank you for watching.